Welcome to Math with Mr. Blado. I am your host, Mr. Blado. We're going to talk about division here, the long division algorithm. Now, I've already made a video about this that uh, uses models based 10 blocks to help picture the division and understand what's going on with this, kind of breaking it down and looking at it from different, a couple different angles here. What I want to do in this video is a little bit more, just a, a quick to the point, um, just here's the process. Go ahead and do this. This is the true step-by-step -step algorithm. I'm also going to think, I'm going to look at this from maybe a slightly different angle than you've thought about division before and maybe something that I, I haven't really talked a lot about myself, but we're going to look at it a different way, uh, looking at a slightly different angle. All right, so getting down to this, we are looking at the dividing uh, 5,782 divided by 4. Now, right away, I'm going to get to the slightly different angle that I, um, I go on this. So oftentimes, I look at this and say, well, let's start off with our 5,000s. So I'm just going to put little marks here to indicate my 5,000s. And then we're going to divide that into four groups. So I'm going to say I'm going to put here's one group, two group, three group, and four group. And I'm going to start saying, well, how many then can I put into, whoops, that's not what I want to do. How, oh, no, I just want to move this thing, please. Thank you so much. I'd just like to move my little mark here. It's not going to let me move it. Why isn't it going to let me, let, me, let me move it? All right, we're going to try something a little bit different then. We're going to take this one, and we're going to put it into this group. We're going to take this one, put it in this group, this one into this group, and this one into this group. And then this guy here is going to be left over. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that later, right? That's one way of looking at division. Slightly different angle, different way of looking at it, is to simply say, how many times will 4 fit into 5? How many times will 4 fit into 5? And to do that, to think about it that way, you might find it useful to think about the multiples of 4, right? Because 1 4 is just 4, 2 4s is 8, 3 4s is 12, right? And so on. The reason this might be helpful for you is because when you see you're dividing by 4, you might just right away think about what are the multiples of 4. So you can then use that to just kind of count. Okay, I got, I have five. How many times can four fit into five? Well, one four gets me to four. Two fours gets me to eight. That's too much. That is over five. So one four it is. And now I can look at this and say, all right, so how many times is four going to five? Just one time. And that gets me to four. So we, there we are. Now I've always shown we are actually talking about thousands here, so we're going to subtract these. Um, come up with 1,782. All right, and now we move on to the 17s. Now we ask ourselves, how many times will 4 go into 17? Well, let's start counting by 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Whoops, too big. So 16 it is. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 4s. How many times will 4 fit into 17? Four times. That gets me to 16. I'm going to put those zeros there. Subtract. 1, 80, 2. Now we're looking at 18. How many times will 4 go into 18? All right. Well, again, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Whoops, too big. There it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4s. All right. So we're going to put a 4 up here. 4, fours gets me to 16. Subtract here. We've got 22 now. Now I'm looking at 4 into 22. How many times will 4 go into 22? Well, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Whoops, too big. So there it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fours. 5. That got me to 20. And we end up with 2 left over. All right, so 5,782 divided by 4 is 1,445, remainder 2. Again, uh, thinking about, think about it this way, slightly different angle we've looked at it before. Just saying, how many times will 4 go into this? 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 And you can use your multiples of 4 to help you with that. Let's work through another example here real quick so you have this on video. Let's take a look. Let's consider uh, 6,085 
divided by, we'll go with 3. 6,085 divided by 3. Now again, I'm going to think about what are my multiples of 3. I'm going to list those over here right now. 3, 6, 9, uh, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, all right, and 30. That'd be, that's my first 10 multiples now. Here's the thing. I should never need this 30. Uh, I'm not going to go into why, but I should never need that. Okay. Um, it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. All right, so now we start off with looking at just the 6. How many times will 3 go into 6? Well, 3, 6. Boom, there it is. That was two threes. So we're going to say two times. And that got me up to six. We're just going to record what we got it up to, six. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. No, I'm not going to do that yet. So we have 6,000. Subtract, I've got 85 left. All right, so now we're looking at the zero, right? This is actually a zero here in this column. How many times will three go into zero? Well, it actually won't. So we're just going to say zero. Now we're looking at the eight, the eight here. Right? This is my next column down. The 8. How many times will 3 go into 8? 3, 6, 9. Whoops, too big. Just 2. Just 2. That gets me to 6. So again, we're going to put a 6 there. Subtract. I got 25 left over. So now I look at 25 divided by 3. How many times will 3 go into 25? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Whoops, too big. So what was that? That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times. That got me as high as 24, which means there's one left over. Boom. I am going to do one more example, and I'm going to do something again a little bit different this time. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you something here to help you understand why what I'm going to do is permissible, why we do this. Notice that when we say the 4, we put the 4 here, we just put a bunch of zeros, and the 7, 8, and 2 just kind of all pull down. Because, well, 2 minus 0 is 2, 8 minus 0 is 8, 7 minus 0 is 7. And the same thing, when I get that 16 here, I just put a bunch of zeros at the end. And again, the 2 and the 8 just kind of come straight down. And when I put the 16 there, I put a 0, and the 2 just kind of comes straight down. And then this 2 just kind of comes straight down. So th these numbers here, these digits, as we move to the right and we progress through, they just kind of come straight down. They kind of keep carrying down the, down the flow. Again, 6 is done, but the 0 carries down. The 8 carries down. The 5 carries down. Okay, and we kind of get to this 8 here, and then this 5 is going to continue just kind of carrying down. So they kind of keep trickling down because we're subtracting all these zeros. So I'm going to show you something else here that we can do with division that might make this, again, a little bit easier. I'm going to start off with, I'm going to do 2,954 divided by 6. Okay. So again, I'm going to think about my multiples of 6. We're going to go with... 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, um, 36, 42, 48, 54, and then 60, which again, I should never use the 60. Start off with 2 divided by 6. How many times can 6 fit into 2? Well, I can't. 1, 6 gets me all the way to 6, so I can't. I'm going to move on to the 29. How many times will 6 go into 29? 6 will go into 29, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, whoops, that's too big, 4 times. So I put my 4 over top of here, and that got me to 24. Now this is where something interesting is going to happen. I am not going to put my zeros here. I'm just going to subtract this. 9 minus 4 is 5. Now, knowing that this 5 would have just come straight down because I'd have a 0 here and I'd subtract, we're just going to bring the 5 down. And now, I'm not going to worry about the 4. I'm not there yet. 
I'm only looking at the 55. The reason you might find this helpful is because it helps to focus your attention a little bit. Now I'm looking at fi just fi uh, fi 55. I'm instead of looking at 554. See, if I do this, then I'm looking at 554, but I'm only considering the 55. So let's just write the 55. That's the idea. We are only going to write the 55. 55 divided by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Too much. 9 times. And that got me to 54. So again, I'm going to subtract these. This 4, if I had zeros here, would have just kind of continued falling down. So let's just bring it down. Now I'm focused just on the 14. 6 into 14. 1, 2, Oops, too big, two times. That gets me to 12. I subtract and see that I have two left over. All right, so a couple new things in this video, but also three examples of just working through that algorithm. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Have a blessed day.